Hello and welcome students. I am Professor Kumbar A.S. We are discussing here the remaining topic of tools and components of IPM. In that, we discuss about the mechanical control. In case of mechanical control, we have to use the different methods. In that, we use hand picking, installation of bird purchase, mulching that are able to reduce the pest population. So let us see one by one. In case of hand picking, we have to collect the insect with the help of hand from the plant and that are directly put into a water or kerosene. In that way, we have to collect the insect. So we have to collect the insect which are large in size that are not able to fly and that are unable to fast traveling. So such insects are collected and directly put into a bucket. Next, trapping. So those insects are not able to fly. So such insect which are used with the help, which are attracted or collected with the help of different traps or insect collecting nets. For example, different uh, moths or grasshoppers or different dragonfly. The next method is burning method. In that burning method, the flying pest which can be picked by hands and can cause and that cause the damage. So such a pest are collected and burned. So such a method is not commonly used by the farmers that is burning method. So next one is bird purchase. So in case of bird purchase in our field the the statue is made with the help of wooden pole where all the birds that are come at a one point and they keep the observation on the field and those some of the insect for example cat different types of caterpillars different kinds of beetles or different kinds of mole cricket or field cricket so such a type of insect that trapped by the birds and that insect are collected or trapped or that collected insect or that insect is collected by the birds. So in that way the pest population is controlled. For example different birds are included that are called as an insectivorous birds. For example black drango, then house sparrow, cattle ergots, house crow, a certain type of birds that are able to catch the insect in such a way that. So in that way the pest population is controlled with the help of certain bird purchase. Next one is mulching. So as we know that with the help of mulch we can reduce the soil borne pest or the pathogen population along with the weed control. So with the help of that mulching we reduce the intensity of soil borne pathogen for example the rhizoctonia that causes root rot or fusarium oxysporum that causes wilt disease. Next one bio rational. So bio, bio rational that name indicates the product that is made from the biological agents or the plant products for example neem. From neem 5% neem seed kernel extract is prepared or 3% neem oil is prepared and that is used for the control of different types of paste and pathogen. The next along with that neem products bio pesticide is also used for example NPV as we know that NPV is mostly used for the control of helicoverpa armigera and bacillus thuringiensis is used for the control of bollworm complex which is commonly occurred on cotton. Along with that different types of sex attractant or pheromones are used or insect growth regulators or repellent are used. So in case of pheromones or in case of sex attractant, pheromones or sex attractant is nothing but the chemical that attract the another species or for example we discuss here 
For example, the female gypsy moth emits a chemical that attracts the male gypsy moth. For example, here the pheromone is placed in a bag. That pheromone secretes a some chemical, and due to that chemical, male gypsy moth is attracted towards the box. And once that male gypsy moth is entered inside the box, so that are trapped. So that are not uh, after that they are that are not able to fly away. So in that way, with the help of such a pheromones, the different male insect that are trapped and that plays very important role to avoid the mating of male and female and if we avoid the male and female mating of male and female insect then the population of our next population is completely restricted next one is biological control so before that again we discuss the one example of pheromones as he here indicate pheromone is nothing but biochemical the pest released to attract the opposite sex for the mating so here so here as we know that here the trap is mentioned in that one lure is placed or chemical is placed that chemical due to the secretion of due to that chemical smell of chemical male insect is attracted towards the female or towards that chemical and once they enters inside the plastic so that are trapped in that plastic at the bottom and that such insect is not able to fly away so different lure or chemical or pheromone is used according to the different pest for example heli lure is used for the attraction of helicovarpa next one biological control agent as we know that biological control agent is used here for example different kind of insect predators parasites and weed predators is used for example here the adult stage of white grub is directly feed on the population of aphids that is the adult stage of white grub is a natural enemy or natural biological control agent that control the population of harmful aphids so in that way we have to collect and preserve a such a natural enemies we have to rear them in laboratory multiply and directly release into the field that are used for the controlling the different pest population of insect so we have to conserve and preserve the natural enemies next regulatory control so as we know that regulatory control quarantine plays very important role to prevent the entry of pest from other country or other areas in that as we know that quarantine is nothing but there is a restriction on the movement of agricultural commodities from one country to another country or one state to another state to avoid the spread of disease in that there are three types of quarantine as we discuss in principles of plant pathology in case of that term here first is domestic quarantine so what is the difference in between domestic quarantine and foreign quarantine there is a complete restriction on the movement of agricultural commodities from one state to another state that is called as a domestic quarantine there is no permission to export and import the agricultural produce from one state to another state for example wart disease of potato next one foreign countries that is complete restriction on movement of agricultural commodities from one country to another country for example fire blight of apple and last one is their embargoes so as we know that embargoes is nothing but there is a complete restriction on the movement of agricultural commodity for that is complete ban on the movement or export and import from one country to another country for example uh, coffee rust in sri lanka that coffee plantation is completely ban or uh, export and import of coffee plantation coffee planting material is completely ban so this is called as an embargoes